Now to Georgia's highly contested U.S. Senate races. Right now, incumbent Republican Senator David Perdue is close to re-election. He leads Democratic challenger John Ossoff, securing just under 51 percent of the vote. Georgians will have to vote again in January to settle the state's other Senate seat. Incumbent Republican Senator Kelly Leffler and Democratic challenger Reverend Raphael Warnock heading to a runoff. Neither candidate received enough of the vote for an outright win. That would have been 50 percent plus one additional vote. CBS 46 is Adam Murphy live tonight with how both campaigns are now moving forward and gearing up for January, Adam. Hey, good evening, Rick. I'm sure you were excited about not having to see those political ads anymore, but I got news for you. They're going to continue and they're going to continue for quite a while now because this will be one of the most expensive runoff elections in Georgia history. Now, as you talked about, the incumbent Republican Senator Kelly Loeffler declared victory at the Grand Hyatt and Buckhead Tuesday night after knocking off Republican challenger Doug Collins. Now, according to the Secretary of State, Leffler received about 26 percent of the vote and even more impressive, Reverend Raphael Warnock, the Democrat in the race, was the top vote getter with 32 percent of the vote. As you mentioned, neither candidate cleared that 50 percent threshold for an outright win, so they will face off in a runoff in January. And already both campaigns are gearing up for what is definitely going to be a heated campaign, and they're already talking about the issues that they believe are most important for Georgians. I was standing up for Medicaid expansion in this state before I was running. I was standing up for working families before I was running. I was trying to facilitate the launch and development of small businesses before I was running. You know, we have to take on big tech. They're trying to censor conservative speech. We have to hold China accountable. I'm doing all that. And we have to speak out against the cancel culture and stand strong with our men and women of law enforcement. Now, this highly anticipated runoff is scheduled for January 5th, but it is full force ahead for both campaigns from this point till the first of the year. We're live in Midtown Atlanta tonight. Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.